What is an economic market? In economics, a market is a place where buyers and sellers come together to exchange goods or services for money. A single or common market is a group of countries where freedom of movement for goods, services, capital, and people is guaranteed with little to no barriers. A perfect example of a common market is the EU single market, which was created in 1958 with the Treaty of Rome by the Inner Six, which included Belgium, France, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, and West Germany. The founders decided upon four freedoms that made up the European single market. Free movement of goods, free movement of capital, free movement to establish and provide services, and free movement of people. The European single market opens up 22.5 million small and medium-sized enterprises to over 450 million consumers without having them pay extra for tariffs or taxes, therefore creating the world's largest economic market without barriers to trade. The single market also allows 50 million European citizens to work in other members' country. In 2008, over 8 million people exercised this right. The European common market also has a common trade policy and common monetary policy. However, several countries who are not part of the European Union but are part of the single market, like Switzerland, had opt opted out for the monetary union and the common trade policy. They have pr free movement of goods, people, and capital, but they can negotiate trade agreements by their own and manipulate their currency however they like. This example demonstrates why being European is awesome. I mean how the advantages provided by the common market make them awesome. Some of the advantages of common markets can be directly seen in the European Union. Apart from the, remo the removal of tariffs among member countries, the key benefit of common markets include free movement of people, goods, services, and capital, which is why they can be referred to as a single market, since it allows free movement of production factors without the obstruction created by national borders. For economies, also, a common market facilitates efficiencies between members. Factors of production become, efficient, become efficiently allocated, resulting in stronger economic growth. However, we must remember that not everything is always positive. Common markets might seem like a paradise to most, but it might actually affect some countries more than others. During the transition of an economic market, less competitive countries might suffer. Companies that had previously been protected and subsidized by the government might struggle to remain afloat as they face a more competitive market. The migration of production factors to, others, to other countries might cause difficulty in the economic growth of the less competitive countries, leading to increased unemployment. Since the new competition of a common market promotes innovation and efficiency in the economy, it also increases the risk of failure for domestic firms, meaning that inefficient companies will eventually close down. Apart from that, trade diversion also occurs. Trade diversion describes when trade is diverted from a more efficient exporter towards a less, less efficient one. This occurs as efficient as efficient non-members of the union are crowded out of the common market. This country might exhibit depressed wages if it faces a large arrival of migration of product factors causing the supply to exceed its demand. Now, with all this new information, you can choose. Do you believe common markets is worth it? Please let us know in our comments below and don't, don't forget to subscribe.